Hello, everyone. So it's getting towards the end of the conference and it's been online, but we've all been here together discussing things and um, I've hung up my shirt. So I'll, uh, I'll wash that later tonight and then uh, I'll be happily wearing it out around places um, when I where I can go. Um, so I've got a few things to say and um, and I'm sure you're all interested to hear some of them. There's also some exciting news um, and lots of thank yous. Um, so if I press the right button, I want to say thank you to our speakers. There's some of them listed there. They really make the conference. has been great and varied um, kind of topics to cover and lots there. And oh, there's a few more to, to uh, thank there, more speakers. You know, it's been a packed conference and all these speakers had to adjust from, they proposed their talks when um, we just thought that the conference would be in person and they've all done great. Um, some of them hang to learn more than others to record. So we'll be cutting up the live stream and putting them on the website um, where it's got details about talk. each talk, the video will appear in the next few days. So there's some more speakers to thank. Um, and then um, I want to thank you guys, yep, you, for being here. Um, it's been great. And uh, you can sign up for updates. Normally, you had to register for the conference and we've got your email address. But if you want to know when we've added um, more information, um, such as those videos, you can Go to the website, 2020.stateofthemap.org, scroll down just a bit to that um, and put in your email address if you're not on the newsletter already. Um, and it's not that frequent, the newsletter, so I'm sure you'll be happy with that. Um, we don't have a group photo this year. I started to do this. Um, but if you want to join in, I think maybe people will help put together a group photo. So... That's Cape Town, and it's made up of a number of you. Um, on Twitter, people have started sharing their photo of them in front of their computer, in front of the stream, with the hashtag Sotom 2020 pic, so we can find those easily. Um, so while you're still on the stream now, get you know get your camera, take a selfie of you on the screen, and tweet it with Sotom 2020 pic. Um, and again, thanks for being here. So I think we averaged about 200 viewers during the conference and it reached over 300 people at one point yesterday. Um, I think we'll be looking into those stats in more detail um, as a team. But I think with it being different time zones, um, maybe some of you have joined at different times and um, hopefully you share the videos as they come out and the ones you like with people that, couldn't be up or couldn't be on the computer at a weekend. Um, every year we ask for your feedback. So we'd love to know what we did well um, for us or anyone else that runs a virtual conference. We do, as an organising team, we help other groups that run states of the state of the map for their region or their country. So if you put some feedback there, it'll help us know how we did. Um, and we can kind of share that and think through it. Um, some of those things we're aware of, but there might be things we didn't quite notice. Um, and thank you for taking part. I mean, that's really made the conference and really made me happy um, to see all the communications, trying to keep hold of them. I'm glad I wasn't on the info desk at any point, but I tried to keep track of these. So, there were 59 users, I believe, on IRC, um, over 463 people in the Telegram group. These numbers I actually took, um, I think, about six hours ago. So <laughs> back then there were 1,400 messages, um, 2,000 tweets and retweets, and they seem to be from 300 different locations um, as far as Twitter could tell us. Um, so that's cities and countries. You can still tweet, as I said, um, you can still use Telegram and IRC. Um, there's even some organized sessions still going on. So do go on those channels and continue chatting um, and telling us what you liked about the conference. It might 
be easier to digest some of that now that it's not all happening. Um, so there's a little picture we did of some of the tweets and the messages going there and and lots of things and uh, and yeah, I love picking out words like great and watch and join as people ask to do that um, and what's online and everything that's happening. Um, thank you to our program committee. Um, so that's the names listed there. They help select the talks, which they put a lot of effort into um, reading through. I think we got about 200 talks there um, and we had to narrow them down to just a few. Um, and even then there were lots, um, so lots of great subjects. We did have some poster entries, so I've put the pictures here, but if you go to that website address um, or to the website and click the posters, you can go and see them. So everyone just, people doing posters of maps or information or just sharing their project. There's a lot of variants there. Um, it's another way you can hear about the project, understand what's going on, different things in OpenStreetMap. Um, it's not quite the same. We can't walk around and see these on boards, but... Um, I certainly encourage you to look at those and you can tweet about them. Um, so, yeah, and thank you for the academic track. So the prece proceedings of those talks, the, the papers, um, are, are already on that website address there. Um, if you want to read the detail and the references. Um, and I want to thank you, the programme committee that put a lot of work into there and have the connections and know how that happens to bring a, a different type of community into our greater community. So it's great um, that that's happened. And it's really great that that's been going for a few years now. Um, one of those things that I really enjoy. So thank you, you guys, for reviewing your submissions and, um, and for making that happen. Um, thank you to the scholarship committee that looked at scholars we could help come. So I think that information isn't going to be wasted. I think we've got the reviews we can look at. Um, but they put in a lot of work to try and get people that we could get to the conference. And I'm not quite sure we'll, what will happen next, but we really value their work. Um, and I think they had done some communication with the scholars there. So they continue to be a key part of um of state of the map helping that happen and that's the um the conference is the open street map foundation's official conference um so we thank them for supporting us the organization um for giving some of dorothea's time um to help us run things um i think you've probably heard a lot about the foundation already um particularly some things um, some of the talks about that, like Alan Mustard's q &A. Um So you can join the foundation um, and show your support. You can find in more information on that website. Um, and then I've got some really exciting news. Now, it's normally really fun to do this in person, but, um, but we can't do that quite at the moment. Um, I want to thank the Czech Republic, and they've become the latest local <laughs> chapter of the OpenStreetMap Foundation. Um, so we didn't manage to arrange it to have them on this call, but um, they are now part of that, and you can go to the foundation website to understand what that means. Um, I think they started arranging this and getting approved in February, and the paperwork's just come through the post. So uh, we welcome them in amongst the local chapters of OpenStreetMap Foundation um, and the connections we have with that. And thank you to our sponsors. They're all listed there. They continue to support us as a virtual conference. So that helps where we've had some costs of hosting the virtual conference and running things. Um, and it also helps us run this in future years and in future ways um, to just have that financial backing for things that cost money and, and need it up front. Um, and also that helps the OpenStreetMap Foundation generally. So it will help run the servers um, and things like that, the various costs and some of the grant programs as well um, that we have running as the foundation. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, and we have the video team um, listed there. So thank you to them. Um, 
and I know it's been particularly difficult learning new technologies um, and getting involved in this as volunteers, um, particularly when they signed up. Um, I think most of them as thinking this would be in person, which makes some things in easier. Um, but they all, all got really stuck in. There were lots of communications um, so that they could, yeah, so that they could get things working. Sometimes things needed to be restarted, which you never want to do in the middle of a conference, especially not an online only one. Um, but they did great work and they, they kept us going um, through that. Um, I want to say thank you to the local team. Um, I think Christine, as chairwoman of the organizing committee for State of the Map is here and might want to say a few words um, about the local team this year. <laughs> yes, thank you, local team. I was so happy to work with you. It was really amazing and it was really a great thing to get to know you and your Davian spirit, which matches really good with our open street map. But now when I talked to you in our first meeting, you told me uh, we the decision is between a free tool or no tool. <laughs> and I had to laugh so much. It's uh, fantastic. And we had a good co-working and say hello to everyone from the local team to me and uh, retire good and it was so sad that we didn't see us in person yeah and i want to say thank you to gregory who make all the work in the front of uh, on the stage which is very cool for me because i'm not the person for the stage and thank you gregory for that Great. Um, so thank you, Christine. And uh, yeah, I get I get the limelight, but Christine kind of oversees it all. And Bernal did a lot as as great team lead. And I think everyone on the team just changing um, for it being um, an in person conference to virtual and all the difficulties with that. Um, so I think I've got a few more names here. Um, these were people that um, helped in different ways as well. Um, sometimes just getting the website uh, into gear and connecting things. Some people stepped in and, and did um, session hosting uh, when we needed people. So we had a few sign up to them the day before. Um, so we've collected a few faces. Um, as you've seen from the names, this isn't all of it, but this is a, a few of the local team there. So you can start um, putting some faces. They're the people working behind. Um, some of them with more screens than I think you could ever want. So uh, it obviously to take a lot to run. Um, great. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm running out of slides now. I've, there have been loads of people to thank and it's been really great to have you here. Um, so I'll just leave you with this slide to remind you, go to the website, scroll down and go for updates. Um, so that we can keep in touch and tell you when the videos are there and indeed when the next conference is. So um, with the world as it is, I'm not sure how that's going to be and what form it's going to be. And um, if we'll be looking for a, a virtual a venue or a physical venue, but but we'll see and we'll um, send those updates um, to the mailing list, along with when we're looking for volunteers to help us out um, in various ways. So do go there and sign up and remember to, to keep the conversation going. But um, thank you. And goodbye.